And as we look forward to hearing from, from you, let's turn to matters about the environment. Environmental degrada degradation is threatening the manufacturer of one of Kenya's largest export earners. The survival of Lake Magadi in Kajiado, which produces soda ash, is at risk due to siltation occasioned by deforestation in areas of Narok County. Going up to over four feet high, the silt has taken over 10 square kilometers of the lake. Covering an estimated 162 square kilometers, Lake Magadi in Kajado County has for decades not only provided a nesting ground for flamingos, it has produced one of Kenya's largest export earners, soda ash, a product used in the manufacture of glass, detergent, paper and leather tanning. In 2005, the lake suffered the first effects of siltation due to deforestation, poor farming practices, and overgrazing hundreds of kilometers away in Narok County. Ten years later, the situation is going from bad to worse. The river called Kisamis that used to take some service runoff to a place called Odorko have now been uh, merged together with a place called, uh, with a river called uh, Engejuaros. And they're now all, all that flows from those rivers are now flowing to, Maga, uh, to Lake Magadi. We noticed that deposition is taking place at the rate of 8,000 tons per hour. At that pace, it's only a few years before the entire lake is lost. The silt lying four feet above the surface of the lake has covered 10 square kilometers of the 152 square kilometers mineable section of the lake. And Tata Chemicals Magadi, which produces the soda ash, says the mining is now at risk. The siltation is now just shy of reaching the, the, the locations where we are doing our dredging. And as soon as the siltation level resides in our dredging equipment, then we will not be able to continue dredging. And that means essentially that all the components of the lake which have got siltation may not be usable for raw material excavation. Tata Chemicals Magadi has been undertaking several initiatives to try and reduce the siltation, but says its campaign for reforestation, good farming practices, building of dikes, dams and gabions upstream will need the support of both the national and county governments. As a matter of fact, I will just be short of saying this is a national disaster. Mm -hmm. Tata Chemicals Magadi services the water used by the local community and runs the local level 4 hospital. With the mining now at risk due to siltation, the survival of the company is threatened and stakeholders stand to lose. The government will have something to lose in way of taxes and royalties. The community would have losses in way of uh, CSR and the benefits that come along with it, as you know, we sponsor schools, we sponsor hospitals, transport facilities, and sometimes participate in building infrastructure. And all these benefits would be lost to the community. Uh -huh. In addition to that, of course, our employees would lose their careers. If we lose it, that means that uh, not even Kenya will also will only be affected, but the world in general. Because our product that is sodash is actually being consumed uh, globally. Tata Chemicals Magadi is Africa's largest soda ash manufacturer and has been producing soda ash for the past century. But now, with the effects of environmental degradation hundreds of kilometers away being directly felt here, the company's survival is at risk. Rita Tinina, KTN.